the big question on everyone's mind. Does playing a musical instrument put you at risk for infectious disease? Corona! <laughs> Excuse me. Well, I'm gonna lay that out for you right now. What's up, internet? My name is Bass Clef G, and much like you, I'm a little nervous for the future of music. Now, there has been a study published through the University of Colorado at Boulder, which is exciting because this will actually help determine the future of indoor music making when the fall and winter come around. So I'm gonna walk you through the preliminary results of this study so you do not have to read it yourself. So I'd just like to stress and emphasize that these results are preliminary meaning that they could change in the future with the results of further study. So this is a music channel and I have been a science educator before Corona hit. So I'm really excited to break this down and talk to you guys a little bit more about what Corona means for us as musicians, be we professionals or beginners like myself. I got it, I got it. So the first thing we need to understand about coronavirus is how it spreads and it is through these little tiny aerosol particles. Now, if those particles are big enough, they can carry the disease. And we do know from the study that instruments, mainly wind instruments, can potentially produce uh, droplets and aerosols sizable enough to spread the virus. I just wanna show you right now with a little quick example with some cover the label aerosol spray right here. So these particles will spread throughout the room, putting a nice uh, orchid smell into the room. And they'll basically spread until the space is finished. So the same thing could potentially happen with the virus. So here's what we need to do to mitigate that. This study has given us two preliminary tasks to take as musicians. And a third one for buildings and facilities to think about. Number one, we will still have to wear masks when we play our instrument. I'm kind of bummed about that too because mask acne is a very real thing, but anything to play indoors, I would take. So we as individuals might want to invest in masks that have slits so that we can fit our mouthpieces or head joints or whatever into our mask and easily remove them. I could actually show you an Instagram video that I saw of an individual playing a sousaphone outdoors with a mask on with his mouthpiece in the mask. It was pretty cool. Number two, we are going to need to cover our instruments in order to prevent those little aerosol particles from getting out. And thankfully, this study has mentioned the material that we need to use in order to make those covers. It is nylon or a nylon mix. Now, there's lots of different types of nylon out there. 100% nylon is basically a shower curtain or like a ripstop nylon. It's very rigid. It almost feels like plastic. You wouldn't think of it much as a fabric. And then there's nylon that's used to make leggings and pantyhose. It's a little more stretchy and a little more breathable. Now this stretchy, breathable nylon, which is usually mixed with spandex, is actually probably more preferable for us musicians than a shower curtain type material. I also say this because both of them are very easy to clean. You could simply wipe off the more 100% nylon shower curtain type material and you can easily place both of them in the wash. I'm actually in the middle of making some really cool bell covers for my tuba, and I can't wait to share that with you guys in the next video, which should be coming really soon. Hopefully next week we'll stay on schedule. So we've covered masks, we've covered bell covers for the instrument, ha ha ha. But the last thing we need to cover is air circulation. And I'm not talking in our own bodies, I'm talking in the buildings that we use. Facilities and other buildings where musicians are going to be playing really need to evaluate and investigate proper ventilation because when you have proper ventilation, that will also help remove any virus aerosols from the air. I am not jazzed about putting a bell cover on my instrument, especially because it's a tuba. 
And I'm not really excited about having to wear a mask when I play either, but the health and safety of others is way more important to me. And I would way rather wear a mask and a bell cover than put somebody else at risk. This is a real bummer, not gonna lie. It kind of sucks, but there is hope for us. And with the development of a vaccine and with all this work being put into learning more about musical instruments and viruses, we can assure that music making will be safe and happy for years to come. Now, if you're interested in reading the resources that I use to make this video, feel free to check out the link in the description below. It includes the actual study along with some other resources that you are free to check out. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, BassClefG, to keep track on my progress on making these really cool bell covers. All right, one bass line, hold the heavy metal. <laughs> Can you tell me what song that's from? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and check me out on social media at Bass Clef G. See you guys next time.